my grandfather came here as a young man and knew nobody, but he heard about California, he came from Portugal. But he knew if he could get to California, he'd heard about it, that he could make a living here, and he did. Came here as a young man, 18 years old, worked for someone, bought a few cows, started a dairy, married my grandmother, raised kids, bought another farm, and now I'm farming that farm. You know, and it, it's nothing, the state today isn't what it was then, and, and the opportunity for someone to do that isn't possible at all now. People here understand that they are the beginning of the food chain. I mean, I grew up with these people, my dad, his buddies, they wake up in the morning, they go get coffee, they go have their rounds, they do their job, they fix things that break, they get them back running, and they do the whole thing again in the morning. And they just want to know when they go to bed at night that their family's taken care of, that their employees are taken care of, and that they get to wake up in the morning and do the same thing over again. And that gives me hope because these are people who know how to put their boots on and dig themselves out and to just keep moving forward because there is another day, there is another opportunity, and every day is that opportunity. California is not done. Every morning is another opportunity for this state to get up, get back to work, and start moving forward again. we're going to be let out of this recession in California, if we're going to put Californians back to work, you know who has to do that? Small business. 98% of businesses in California are small businesses, and 80% of Californians work for a small business. So if I could do one thing as governor, it would be to create the conditions that makes it easy to start a business, easy to grow a business in California. And that's why I'm running. You know, we have tremendous problems here, but I refuse to believe that California cannot be better than it is. How did we end up with the third highest unemployment rate in the country, only behind Michigan and Nevada? Every morning, 2.3 million Californians wake up without a job. Been here my entire life. Uh, what's really killing us right now in California is all the regulations. The valley is the heartland of California, and, and we get teased a lot for being flyover territory. Without the Central Valley, I mean, no, no farmer, no food. People in the cities think milk comes from a grocery store. And so um, it's sad that they, don't, that they can't see the fruit basket we have here in this world here in the San Joaquin Valley. For much of last year, many of you got 10% of the water allocation that you were actually due. Maybe it's now up to 40% because we've had a little more rain, but the truth is through the dry summer and this fall, we'll be back in the same fix. So I want to get those pumps turned on and I want to restore the economic health of the Central Valley. I've been faced with water cutbacks for several years. We have to have water or my business won't be here. Water issue is a big issue for me. Uh, my trucking business, we haul hay from the west side. Uh, our business has cut this year by over 40%. As I have traveled to California, and I've been to almost all 58 counties, I've seen all kinds of different businesses, from seed businesses to manufacturing businesses to farmers to high tech to biotech, you name it. Regulation is strangling businesses of all sizes. I believe Meg sees the state in every bit of its complexity. We'll be better off. Too much waste out there and she will, she will get rid of that waste. I feel that she really cares about what's going to take place in California. And I think she's the, the person that could do it. She has the enthusiasm and uh, I believe she's the person for the job. We're going to go back to the California that many of you grew up in where everything was possible, where dreams came true, where you could start a business and be successful, where we had the number one public school system in America. And that's the California I want for my children and my grandchildren, and it's the California I want for all of you.